friends, welcome to our mathematics program for grade 7. Today you are going to learn about angles. We are going to give you some real life situation and also you are going to learn about some terms related to angles. You will also discover the half turn, the three quarter turn and a complete turn related to angles. You will also be introduced to the concept of acute angles, obtuse angle, and the reflex angle. We are going to end the lesson with some exercises for you to practice. Let's have a look what is an angle. The term angle comes from the Latin word angulus, meaning a corner. For example, a corner of a football pitch. Angle between two signboards. Now, let's have a look at this crocodile. How wide should it open its jaws to eat its prey? If it is going to eat a huge prey, he is going to open its jaws even wider. Angles are found everywhere. But how are they formed? By a simple definition, angles are formed when two lines cross each other, that is, intersect. In simple words, an angle is the opening between two lines. Now let's have a look at this drawing. There are two lines that intersect. The point of intersection is called a vertex. These two lines are referred to as the arms of the angle. The opening between these two lines is the angle. Angles are measured in degrees and is written as a small circle at the top of a number. For example, 8 degrees, 15 degrees, 243 degrees. From the real life examples we have seen earlier, we have noticed that there are different sizes of angles. Now, let's see these sizes in details. Consider the following case. Peter is standing on the middle of a roundabout with four exits. He wants to study the angle that a car will make if it takes any one of these exits. Let's have a look at the first case. Sarah is coming from Cupid and needs to return home as she has forgotten her purse. At the roundabout, she will take a full turn to go back. A complete turn about a point in this case where Peter is standing, this we call the center, a complete turn represents 360 degrees. A complete turn is equal to 360 degrees. Case 2. Rahul is coming from Cupid and is traveling towards Port Louis. Now, this represents half of a complete turn. If we calculate half of 360 degrees, which represent a full turn, 
we will get 180 degrees. This is also called a straight angle. Half of a turn is equal to 180 degrees, also known as a straight angle. Now let's have a look at the third case. Ashfaq is coming from Qpip and needs to go to Rejui. He is going to turn to Rejui. That is the first exit. This represents one quarter of a turn, which gives us 90 degrees. Quarter of a turn, 90 degrees, also known as the right angle. Usually, when you see a small box between two lines, for example, like in the drawing here, this automatically represents an angle of 90 degrees. They are also referred as perpendicular lines. A quarter of a turn is equal to 90 degrees, also known as a right angle. Now, let's have a look at our fourth case. If Corina is travelling from Cupid to Mocha, she is going to take the third exit. This represents three quarters of a turn which gives us an angle of 270 degrees. Three quarters of a turn is equal to 270 degrees. Let's keep on learning about more terms. We definitely don't have only these four types of angle. That is, complete turn, right angle, straight angle, or three quarters of a turn. Now consider this diagram. It is divided into three parts. The first part is from zero degrees to 90 degrees. Second part, 90 degrees to 180 degrees. And the third part is... 180 degrees to 360 degrees. Now let's consider the first part, 0 degree to 90 degrees. Remember that an angle of 90 degrees is also referred to as a right angle. All angles between 0 degree and 90 degrees are called acute angles. For example, 2 degrees, 10 degrees or 20 degrees are all acute angles. All angles between 90 degrees and 180 degrees are called obtuse angles. Now, the third region. All angles that are greater than 180 degrees but less than 360 degrees are called reflex angles. Now, some exercises for you to practice. Question 1. Identify the type of angle formed between the hands of each clock. You need to use the terms you have learned earlier in the lesson. Question 2. Can you draw separately an acute and obtuse and a reflex angle in your copybook? 
Question 3. State the type of angle of each of the following. Let's have a look what we have learned today. The definition of an angle, various terms related to angles formed by intersecting lines, the complete turn which is 360 degrees, half turn 180 degrees and the free quarter turn which is 270 degrees. We have also discussed the acute, obtuse and the reflex angles. You will certainly have some other programs on angles. You are advised to work out these exercises with your friends, teachers or even your parents. Hope you have enjoyed our program. Till next time, it's goodbye.